Hey guys, it's Shelby with the Garden and a Veter here to show you how we do our isopod setups. We will start with a Sterilite container, six quart. I do drill holes on the side of it, about five of them for ventilation. And then we start with our garden soil, organic. Got to make sure it's organic because other ones have pesticides and fertilizers in them. So you want to be careful with that. We will mix in some oak leaves into the organic soil about two inches for the bottom of the container that's good for the isopods to burrow into then we have our sphagnum moss we'll put on one side i do soak it in a little bit of water before i put it in to really um, give it some good humidity on that side um, we i set up about 50 50 and then kind of watch how the isopods like their setup um, some of them like it a little bit more dry so then i'll only spray one corner so it really depends on the species of isopod that you get. And then we do put cork rounds in it. Um, you can buy these at any pet store. Uh, this piece right here was about $10 at like Petco, um, where you could go to a reptile show and get a cork round that like this big guy here. This was only 16 bucks. And I'm actually gonna cut this into several pieces and put it in multiple containers. Got about four species I'm doing today. Um, we do add springtails into the culture as well. It's said to be really good to help keep it clean. And it's got a little carbon in there as well. You do want to make sure you have some sort of calcium in the tank for them. Um, this is cuddle bone. You can buy at any pet store. Um, a lot of times you'll find it in the bird section. Um, I'll break this up into multiple pieces and spread them out. Um, you can also do eggshell. It's really good to kind of work that into the soil as well and always have a spray bottle, keep that one side um, humidity up and keep it a little wet. Do you want both options at all time? Um, so stick with us and I'll show you how we set it up. All right, they're all set up now. As you can see, we did the two inches of soil, got the leaf litter, the cork bark, the sphagnum moss, did throw some of that springtail and that carbon in there and the calcium. The leaf litter is throughout the soil and there is some eggshell for extra calcium. We will spray the sphagnum moss. I usually, you know, I keep an eye on it. You can kind of tell when it's starting to get dry. I spray mine probably every two to three days, which is also a good time to keep it open, get that ventilation in there, more CO2. These are going to be my Thai tigers I just got today. Let's see if you can see any on top. There you can see a female. So the females are a little brown and then the males are actually really cool. They're more of like a, a little light brown and orange with a stripe down its back. So I actually usually just dump out the whole culture in here just so we don't miss any. Uh, let's get that in there. You can see most of the cultures will come with carrots and um, some of the springtails in it as well. Let's see, I just saw one crawl away there. There's another female. There one is. See the stripe on its back? Mm -hmm. Let them settle in. Move on to our next one. We're going to put the peaches in. Peaches are really beautiful. Oh, there's one. Couple there. And down there.
Next we got the, oh, the car caramel or caramel, however you guys like it. We got one right on top of that moss. Some people do live moss in their containers. We've got a couple in some of them. They come with it, I'll just throw it in. Might as well. Look at those. That's crazy. <laughs> Look at those. On to the last one. Our yellow dot. Use it right on top for you. These are cool. I got little tiny yellow dots on the back. I'll add those in. Those ones seem to be really active. Alright, and that's all for them. Easy peasy. Now, you do want to store these in, um, you know, a cool, dry place. They don't really like light. A lot of people I see um, keep them in their closet. Seems to be a pretty good place. I keep mine on top of a dresser. Our room's pretty dark. Um, and they like anywhere from not too cold and not too hot. So just in between is pretty good. Go and go over each one specific and show you our other setups. We got some really neat ones that I got going on that have been breeding for us already. Uh, these are just brand new, got from the reptile show. If you guys have any questions, just comment below. Um, like and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching, guys.